Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to create an easy audio spectrum in After Effects. And those are the animations you see that go along with music. So what we want to do is go up to File, New, New Project. So we want to go up to Composition, New Composition. And I will keep these settings and click OK. Now we want to go up to Layer, New, and Solid. And it doesn't matter what color this layer is. And I'm just going to click OK. And now what we want to do is we want to go to Effect, down to Generate, Audio Spectrum. And it gives us these little dots here. And it also gives us these points to drag, to make it bigger or smaller. And also drag it to different parts onto our composition. So we need to have music for this to react to. So I'm just going to put in a track. And I'm just going to drag it underneath the dark gray solid layer here. So I want to make sure this dark gray solid one layer is selected. And I want to go up here. And you can see it gives you all these different options. You want to go to audio layer click this down arrow and select the audio layer you want this to react to. Now unfortunately I cannot record sound so I'm going to play this and you will see it will start reacting as the music continues. And we can change our co the color of this uh, reaction. You can also change the frequency which is how much of the spectrum of audio you want in the animation. So if I turn this down, you're going to see that the highs start to become animated here and that the lows are a little less animated. So you want to make sure this is a good range so it captures the highs and lows of your music that you want to animate. So I'm just going to leave it at 20 and 2000. And you can also change how many of these dots there are. If you slide this, you can have a ton of fine dots, or you can have very few. And you can change the height so it cannot go past a certain point. Say that your music has really high frequencies, you don't want it going off the composition. You can change the thickness of the lines. And once you do that, you can really see where these colors stand out. The outside color you can see is a little bit lighter or pinkish than the inside color here. And those are the basic uh, tools and options that you can change to make your simple audio spectrum. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps. Thank you so much for watching.